Over the past 30 days, I made $200,000 on Instagram with 100% organic content. If you're wondering how I did this, it's because I sell online courses and I use Instagram as a funnel. My name is Julia and I'm a million dollar course creator because I learned how to leverage the algorithm and create a funnel that works optimal on Instagram. In this video today, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this in an entirely free course. It's probably one of the longest videos I've ever created and it's definitely the most juicy. Hello, my name is Julia Guerreri and in this training, I'm going to show you how to make daily sales for your online course using this one simple Instagram funnel that made me 200K in 30 days. And I've been running this funnel for a while, but really like when I did this in April last month, I just realized the power of this funnel. And now I just want to get this in the hands of more people. So like I said, this made me 200K in 30 days in the month of April. And I want to really go into what that looked like. So I want to keep in mind here that oftentimes people tell me like, Julia, why do you make this stuff free? And I'm like, information is free, but implementation is what is for a fee. So in January of 2020, I found out that I was 25K in debt. And that's really when my like content creator journey started because I was working nine to five as a financial advisor on Wall Street. But then by September of 2020, I paid off my debt and it was not from my corporate job. It was because I created a Poshmark Instagram account and I branded myself as a Poshmark reseller on Instagram. So what I did was I generated traffic and leads from Instagram and I drove that traffic to my Poshmark store. And then by April of 2021, I was like, why don't I just do this for my personal page? I always wanted to be a content creator, but I didn't really have the full confidence to post it on my own page yet. So by April of 2021, I grew my online community to 100 K and I launched my first course. And this was really like the biggest breakthrough for me because I couldn't believe that people were paying me for my knowledge. So the course that I had launched at that time was a mindset and manifestation course. I talked about how I became debt free. I talked about really like all things like spirituality because that's what I was passionate about. And that's all I knew, right? I wasn't business coaching people and stuff like that because I didn't really like have a business. I had my Poshmark reseller business, but I had to first like do the thing before I could teach the thing. So by the time that it was December of 2021, I had hit six figures in cash my first six months in business. And I didn't even know that I did this. Like I was just so focused on like being in the business that I didn't even realize until I went to an accountant and they were like, you just started this in June and you're at six months by the end of the year. And that was pretty wild to me because April of 2021 is when the community was growing. But I remember it was like right after Memorial day, like first day of June that I had quit my job and I really did this, uh, you know, full time. So this is what was super wild. And I couldn't believe it that this was possible. I didn't have any overhead. I think I had like a teachable account, which at the time was maybe like 97, $99 a month. And that was like my only expense, my email list. I was on like a free thing. Um, so yeah, like it just kind of showed me what was possible. Possible. Now, fast forward to 2024, I've collected over $1.7 million for my online education business. That's through selling courses, coaching, I've hosted retreats, but really like the core of it was from one signature online course. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. It's called the Conscious Creator Academy. So we went in one year from about 30 people to almost 300 people. And like I said, I'm doing on average hundred K a month. But like I said, last month we had a heavy hitter at, uh, over 200 K. So this is what I want to show you that this model doesn't just work for 10 K 20 K 50 K it keeps working and it keeps growing because it's a system that's rinse and repeat. So that kind of leads me into the second part, which is to get repeatable outcomes, you need repeatable systems. So when something breaks, when shit hits the fan per se, you can really understand what's not working and what you need to fix in order to get the outcome that you're looking for. So I used to sell a course back in 2022 that was $3,000. And what I didn't understand at the time was I didn't understand how to continue to get repeat clients every single month because I was constantly just relying on 
other people to find me. And I was like, oh, well, they'll just click the link in my bio. They'll sign up on the Google form. But I never had consistent income month after month. And it was really stressful for me as a business owner, because a lot of people talk about like monthly recurring income and memberships, but that wasn't the model of my business. The model of my business was to get new clients. And then on the back end to create something scalable to retain those clients. So what I didn't understand was I didn't have like this one simple funnel, which is what I'm teaching you today, which is the content to cash funnel for creators. So if you need more money in your business, it's because you need more sales. If you need more sales, you need more people to sell to. If you need more people to sell to, you need more leads. And that is why this training is going to teach you how to create a lead generation machine with organic social media content aka your Instagram account to print money for you. So keep in mind up to $1.7 million. I never made a dime from paid ads. Even at the time I'm recording this, which is now in May, I still have not made a dime from paid ads. What I have done and what I have mastered is the organic content creation game. And now I want to get that in the hands of more people because up until really this point, I didn't have disposable cash flow or income to reinvest into a paid ad strategy. It was really only once I got to that point where I could even start considering because yeah, I had some money to reinvest back into the business. So whether you're trying to get to like 20 K a month, 50 K a month, hundred K a month, the goal is to really create something that will generate leads for you on autopilot. And the best way to do that is with organic social media, because there's only four types of leverage. Uh, Naval Ravikant says this capital, labor, media, and code. So we're talking about the one of four types of leverage, which is media. And what media does is media really reminds us that we have power. Like we have power in the media because it's permissionless. So you can go and make 50 reels today. No one's going to stop you. And you can go reach 50,000 people today. And from one reel, no one's going to stop you. And this is the power in media. So If you want to stop trading your time for money with one-on-one coaching or like begging people to buy your course or sitting and manifesting clients are going to come from the sky. Yes. Many coaches have told me that you are now going to learn how to build a business. You are going to learn how to build something that is sustainable and something that can run without you. Because let's be real. If you do not have a scalable model, you should not be building this thing in the first place. Because ultimately you have to remember if you cannot scale the model in a way that it can run without you, that's a prison. You become the biggest risk for the company. If the company cannot run, if you do not show up. So to be fully transparent with you, all it takes for me to fulfill on selling my course is about three hours a week to coach the clients technically, because everything is set up with a repeatable system so that I have freedom to do other things that I love to do, which is create content, make videos like this, talk on my stories, travel and fuel the content. So This is what you have to understand is that you're learning today how to build a scalable system. And to be honest, I have no idea how long this training is going to be because I care about the value. You can see on my sidebar here, there's a ton of sauce here. And when I was making this, I even said to my friend, I sent it to her and I was like, I think I'm giving too much away. And she's like, give it all away for free. So I'm not holding back. This is really all in. And before we get started, I really want to, you know, put this disclaimer out there. And before we dive in on the next page, you have to realize that this training is not going to be for everyone. And this isn't some like BS kind of thing. Like I'm dead serious. This is for people that actually like want to put in work, not for people that just want passive income because yes, it takes me about three hours a week to fulfill on my course, but I'm doing like CEO stuff in the business, like leading a team, like creating content. I I post two to three times a day. So 
Passive income is not so passive. Just because the course and the business runs on autopilot doesn't mean I sit around all day and twiddle my thumbs. It just means that I have been able to outsource this model and I didn't start outsourcing it until I was at 60K a month. So you can really get this thing like cranked up and running on your own, but you have to work. Passive income is not so passive. There's no such thing as passive relationships. Clients don't just fall from the sky and become clients because there is no such thing as a passive relationship. If you're in a relationship, whether with a friend, a partner, a family member, like, you know, you're a daughter, you're a sister, right? So you need to ask yourself, okay, is there such thing as a passive relationship? If I don't call my mom for five years, is the relationship going to still be fueled? Probably not, right? So we need to really understand that relationships are not passive and you need to understand where to automate and where to really humanize the process. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And the most important disclaimer, this is not for people who sell something like MRR, PLR, Uh, some affiliate marketing course, that is not what this is. And I need to make this super, super clear because this does not work for that. This is only for people who want to create and sell their own products and services using my proven content to cash system that will sign you clients on repeat. So let me repeat and hop off this video right now if you are not interested in that because this will not help you. And I think the more that we explain who we are for, we start to repel who we're not for. This is for people who want to build a business, a real tried and true company that is scalable, that is sustainable, and that can really provide you like generational wealth. This is not a get rich quick. This is not an overnight success. This is for people who want to build a real best business, have a real business operating system and get repeatable outcomes and make a lot of money and have a lot of fun and be content creators because I love content creation. So now that I probably lost hundreds of people, let's dive in. So the first thing we need to understand is really the mindset that it takes to get to seven figures. And, you know, I did a lot of seven figure mindset work in the beginning of my journey, but what I didn't realize at the start was what it was really going to take to run a seven figure company. And now bringing the company from seven figures to eight figures, it's really requiring like a whole new level of like embodiment and mindset. And it's kind of the same jump that I made from six figures to seven figures. So let's talk about this. Lesson number one, you don't wait to go to the gym after you lose 30 pounds. Like this is my favorite, favorite way to objection handle the like, oh, I'll invest when I have money. The cost of not investing in yourself, whether it's time, it's money, it's energy is costing you more than failing. And I'm not just talking about some like gimmicky marketing, be like, buy my course, you have to invest in yourself. I'm talking about everything you do. So what I then come into is lesson number two is what are the things that are costing you a ton of money in your life that are giving you no ROI? So at first it's probably like eating shitty food. It's probably hanging out with shitty people and it's probably doing shitty things like, you know, binge watching Netflix or doom scrolling like three to four hours a day. That is like the first hurdle in going from like six figures to really like seven figures. So what I want you to start replacing that with is like, even if you're not investing in courses like YouTube videos, podcasts, free courses like this, networking events, right? Is drinking alcohol serving you? Like I drink alcohol, but I, I maybe drink like one or two times a month, like nothing crazy. I do like the taste of wine. I I like a little dirty martini here and there, but you have to really ask yourself, like, is this a deposit or this is an expense to my bank account? So like, for example, if I go out and have five glasses of wine and party till three o'clock in the morning, which I don't even remember the last time I did that, to be honest with you, that is an expense to my bank account because that's going to set me back two or three days. And I know I could be making five to $10,000 a day in the kind of business that I have. So if I'm set back for three days, I just lost $30,000 in my mind. So I want you to really think and understand that the choices in your life are either, either adding or subtracting to your life. And then I want to give you lesson number three. You cannot fail if you do not quit. And I can't stress this enough. There are a million reasons like every single week why I should quit. And the only reason, there's only one, one reason why I do not quit. And the reason is I can't fail if I don't quit. 
So you cannot be afraid to be humiliated. You cannot be afraid to quote lose because you don't lose. The only time you lose is when you stop. And I don't want to say like take a break because yes, we're human beings. We're not robots. But I mean, if you don't make money and you just give up on your business, rather than trying to understand the problem and actually fix the problem, don't be a quitter, right? You cannot fail if you do not quit. I've quote failed probably 10,000 times up until this point in my journey. But if I quit is what makes it a failure. It is not a failure if you do not accept it as such. You need to reframe and use these as learning lessons and come back to videos like this that remind you that you cannot fail if you do not quit. Okay. Lesson number four, which we talked about a little bit before the founder's curse, the more valuable you are to your business, the less valuable your business is. I did not say this. I got this from, um, Alex and Lila Hormozzi when I went to their event at acquisition.com. If you don't know them, definitely look them up. If you're on in online business, you have to know them. So I realized that if I was the only one that was able to run the company, like it was a hundred percent reliant on me to make sales, the business is not that valuable. Now let's think about this as a content creator, right? You are the face of the brand and the face of the business. Okay. But I want you to remember that doesn't mean you have to be doing everything. So let me give you an example of this. I used to just sell all my courses through live launches, right? Because this is how most people learn, right? Like do the masterclass, build a group coaching program, open the cart, close the cart, right? Easy peasy. But what most people don't understand is that when you have a model like this, it is a hundred percent relying on you. What about if you want to travel? What about if you don't want to launch? What about if you're tired, you're burned out? When you can build an evergreen scalable system, you are not then reliant are 100% the founder. So even though I'm a creator and I show up in all the content, there's plenty of other areas that I outsource in the business so that I only have to work on certain needle moving tasks. And that's what I want to teach you today. So let's get into lesson number five is that your actions are not dictated by your past. They're pulled forward by your future. Be your future self now and get very clear on this person that you want to be. Now I want to zoom in on this one a little bit here, right? This is entrepreneurship. And if this is not for you, once again, you probably shouldn't still be on this video by now because I should have scared you off in the disclaimer section, but we have to really come back and remember what entrepreneurship is. It is like a bunch of failures and fuck ups until something works, honestly. And I want to only attract in this free course, the kind of people that understand that the kind of people that can be resilient when everything in the world is proving to them that they should quit. But that little, like tiny little whisper in their head reminds them not to. So this is entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is not sitting on the beach and making passive income and drinking margaritas and like $10,000 hits the bank account. Yeah, there are some days like that, but it's because you've gone through all these other days and then boom, you get a $25,000 pay in full, which I've experienced many times over. So what I want to show you is really what it takes to build and scale a successful business. Okay. This is not for someone who just wants to make a certain amount of money in a certain period of time. This is for someone who wants to stay in the game through the ups and the downs, right? Last thing I'm going to leave you with number seven, working out is hard, but so is being overweight the same way business is hard, but so is being broke. You have to choose your hard. 99% of people will quit. If you are the 1% keep watching. So at this point, I think I got only the 99% that are all in. So let's get to it. Okay. So first things first, you got to understand the funnel. Okay. So this is the content to cash funnel that I've realized that scale my company to over $1.7 million is, and this is how it works. Okay. So it is fueled by step one, which is content, right? Organic social media content. And then step two building relationships, step three sales, step four transformation. Okay. Content relationship sales transformation. We're going to dig deep into it. 
Content is the lead generation machine. Views, likes, and comments are vanity metrics, AKA monopoly money. If you have a lot of them, that's great. That means you have a lot of lead flow, but that doesn't mean you have a lot of conversions. So we need to learn how to turn lead flow into dollars, conversions. That's what this is about. Part number two is relationships. This is my favorite piece, and this is where most people get stuck. And keep in mind, this is just the high-level overview. We're going to go very deep into these topics. So my favorite, and this is the piece where most people get stuck, relationships are the backbone of your business. Remember when I said passive income is not so passive? Oftentimes we forget there are human beings behind the screen. So imagine your online business was a coffee shop and every person who walked in the door, you would say hello and offer them a cup of coffee. But on Instagram, we get new followers and we never welcome them. We never say hello. We never say, Hey, thanks for being here. This is the key to growing your business, building a community and building like loyal followers that are going to buy from you. Because what we want as creators who are using Instagram for business, we want people who are going to buy and we want people who are going to see the value in your work. Okay. So Sales is not a secret skill, it's energy. There are skills and tactics that can be learned, but the best sales skill is listening and responding intuitively. You are not selling a program, you are selling a desired outcome and a level of transformation. Guys, if you don't have sales, it's probably because your offer sucks. And I say that with so much love because when someone made this very clear to me and that someone being Alex Hormozy, my business turned around. I went from making 300 K in two years to making over a million dollars in 12 months. Once Alex just told me like your offer sucks. He didn't tell me directly, but I watched enough of his content to read between the lines and be like, holy cow, my offer sucks. So I realized my offer was not good enough and I had to make a change. So th- let this be your wake up call. And this is why I don't serve like MRR and this other crap because you cannot make a good offer. You have a fixed offer. If you cannot change and make a really amazing offer, you're screwed. So you need to change. You need to make a change and you need to make an amazing offer offer because an amazing offer is the byproduct of the sale. All right. So to make more money, you need to make more sales to make more sales. You need to make more offers to make more offers. You need to have more people to talk to leads, offers, sales, only three things you need to focus on every single day as a entrepreneur, digital entrepreneur using Instagram to grow your business. So when you say you have a sales problem, I want you to get very clear on what that actually means. So how many leads do you have, right? What is your Instagram reach? What, how many likes are you getting? How many followers, how many commenters? If you have a community of a hundred thousand people, you have a hundred thousand plus leads. If you have a community of 5,000 people, you have 5,000 leads. If you have an Instagram reel that got 300 likes, you have 300 leads. So you need to stop waiting for people to come to you and you need to start actually talking to the people that are giving you that green light signal and being like, Hey, I'm interested in what you have to offer. Okay. So how many offers have you actually made to these people? Guys, I was running my business for two years and no one ever told me to actually be social on social media. That's what it's about. So the reason why I wasn't making any money in my business is because I wasn't making any offers. You have to make offers. Now you can't just be flying in people's inbox and cold DMing them and being like, Hey girl, I have a program that I know will help you. I I saw your stock on your page. That's awful. We're going to go into actually what to say, but you have to understand you need to put your offer in front of more people. Okay. And then how many sales have you made, which is entirely dependent on the first two questions. Sales is a byproduct of the above. Okay. And lastly, transformation, what makes an amazing product? Okay. There are these five things that make a really, really amazing product. Number one results. If your program does not get results, do not even bother putting it out there. If you have like a newer program, that's okay. But you need to, the very first thing you need to work on, if your program's newer and you've only worked with like a handful of clients, you need to get people results, like work for free until you get people results. When I pivoted my business from a mindset business to a business business, like mindset coaching to business coaching, 
I helped like a handful of people for free and I helped them scale their business, like literally to six figures for free until I knew that this thing worked. Okay. Number two, it has to be consumable and like really digestible. If people do not understand what the heck you're saying, but you're like, I'm the best expert in the world. It does not matter because what matters is that someone can actually like consume the content and actually like take and get value from it. Okay. Number three is the levels of access guys. Oh my God. It literally pains me when I see like DIY do it yourself courses and people get zero results. So People are like, oh, well, it's consumable because I'm going to just make a video dump of videos. I'm going to put like 500 videos. It's so valuable. It's so amazing. And no one does anything because they're overwhelmed. There's so much content that it's overwhelming. They go into analysis paralysis. So you have to actually understand like how to coach people and how to help people. So something we do inside of our program, the Conscious Creator Academy, is we pair each client with a one-on-one support coach. This one-on-one coach actually gives the person like real feedback and real support, which then gets me into speed and support. So by having a one-on-one coach, they can get 24 seven support and they can get messaging. They can get zoom calls. They can get a community of other people, peer to peer access. This is what makes an amazing product. And this is what makes it a product that stands out. So if you are just like focused on sales and not focus on actually making good products, it does not matter how many sales you make because your business will eventually break. I see course creators that are like $5 million, $10 million, and the product sucks. Like the course is just not good. And honestly, from, from what I've studied and what I've seen and the research I've done, you can really like scale a a shitty product to like eight to $10 million. But the problem then from there becomes how to really like move it forward because something starts to break. So when I was taking my business from six figures to seven figures is when I realized that the model that got me to six figures was not going to get me to seven figures. And then now what do you know? The model that got me from seven figures is not going to get me to eight figures. So what we need to do now is make iterations and changes. And that's why I said, right? The thing that was at a hundred K a month, I started making changes, boom, 200 K a month. But we have to understand the system. And once you have the clear system, you can know where to make changes. So now to get into part two. And like I said, I'm like really fired up. I just, I just had my coffee. It's early in the morning for me. That's when I do my best work. And I'm super fired up to like even dig deeper into this because now we're going to go really deep into like these four pillars. Okay. So let's talk about now how to actually create viral Instagram content. So I've helped over a thousand people in the lifetime of my business. And what I've learned at this point in time is there really is a methodology to creating like content that's going to reach a lot of people. And I have helped like a lot of people go viral. And sometimes it's a blessing and a curse because sometimes you're like, whoa, like, you know, I had a client get a hundred million views on a video and she grew like 50,000 followers in two weeks. And that makes up your whole following. So what you need to make sure is that when you're creating like viral Instagram content, you want to make sure that this type of viral content is actually applicable to your niche. So the con- the content that like really like boosted my account and got me from like 20 K to about 50 K was that like super, super general viral content. But then from that point, you kind of want to go like a little bit deeper and not so much on viral, but almost like micro viral. So like viral within your niche. So let's look at this. For example, this is something that I would consider micro viral because it has about 800 likes, right? We could look at the insights here. All right. That's not going to load for me today, but what we can do is we can really understand here in this, in this piece of content, why is this micro viral? Okay. So if we actually like break down this video, it's transformational, which you will see right here, right? Transformational content. So what we want to do when it comes to transformational content is we want to show the before and the after. Okay. So we want to show people 
what is before and what is after. So before was like the dead Instagram account, the low bank account, no followers, right? And the after is a successful online coaching and course business. So the kind of person that I'm trying to attract in for my offer is someone who has an online course. They want to scale their course. They want to scale their coaching program. Maybe they want to create their first course because they don't want to be like having inconsistent income as a one-on-one coach and trade their time for money. So what this does is this paints that picture in a six to eight second reel. So this kind of content is micro viral transformational content. Now let's go to educational content. Okay. Same thing. Micro viral about 600 likes. I mean, I don't even know the reach, but I show people how I've gotten right over a million reach on my reels. And even that reel that got a million, it was micro viral. Okay. So this reel, right? It took me six years to learn how to go viral on Instagram. Now I'll teach you in six simple steps. This is educational. This is something that someone is going to save for later, and then they are going to find a lot of value in. So we can just look at this piece of content and really see how many people this is reaching, right? How many times do you recommend posting per day, right? This is the keyword elite value in the caption. Thank you. Right? will be split testing. Dang. I thought one K was cool. Like these are real quality comments from people. And these are people that could potentially become clients for my business. Like this is attracting in the right people for the business that will actually buy. Right? So this is what we want to do. Okay. So viral content type number three is inspirational. So for example, I show a picture, like a video of me and my boyfriend living a happy life in Bali. And I talk about something that I've changed in my life that is now going to help other content creators to grow their businesses. Okay. So let's look at this for a second. I don't know why the comments here like aren't loading. There's a lot more comments on this. Um, but basically what we want to show people in this video is point of view. Stop hustling on Instagram. You found a way to create seven reels in just two hours per week and made over 100 K in January. Cause this is one secret. So this is inspirational where I'm showing people like, Hey, look what I've done. So now I can teach you how to do that thing too. Okay. So if you are stuck with your content, I want you to try these simple hacks like today, this week, whenever you're watching this, number one, you want to switch up your style of content. Have you been doing the same thing over and over and it's still not working? Something needs to change. Try a new trend, look up inspiration, try something new. Okay. Number two, film yourself randomly throughout the day, doing random things, right? Drinking a cup of coffee, catching a flight, walking down the street, whatever it may be. Okay. This is how you're going to create B roll content. That's actually going to like be aesthetic so that it catches the eye, but it's also like good enough and strong enough for people to become buyers. Okay. Number three, the three types of content inspirational, educational, and transformational. Inspirational is going to show people what is possible for them by following you. Okay. Number two, educational. I want you to teach something to someone new, teach someone something new. That's like a tongue twister. Okay. Like I'm doing with you guys here. This is something new for you. This is a long form educational piece of content, right? So they're going to actually save this and come back for more. And then number three is transformational. Tell your rags to riches story and show people how you can help them too. Okay. Number four, two times a day. I cannot stress enough how important volume is for the organic content game. It does not have to be long. I mean, these videos you can see are so simple. Like this takes no joke, 30 seconds to make a video like this because I have a big library of B-roll content and making something like this, no joke takes 30 seconds. There's like no editing required. Okay. So one time a day is just not enough to really like get to six figure a month level. Okay. And then lastly, repurpose your past content that performed well. If it worked once, it'll work again. I post my viral reels seven to eight times over and over and over again, because they're proven to work and get new eyeballs every single time. So I want to just show you quickly before we get to the next part, a case study of how my client Gabby did this. So Gabby joined my program CCA with 1000 followers. This exact strategy that I just taught you for free gained her. I just looked up her page when I was making this 270,000 followers. 
Guys, she had 1,000 followers or 1,500 followers when she joined our program. In 36 hours, she gained 50K. A couple months later, after 90 days, she's at 270K. This stuff works. Now, remember what I said, likes, reach, followers, it's vanity metrics, but we not just taught her how to grow her page. We taught her how to build a business on the back end of the influence. So as you can see here, she started with $0 in revenue. Now she's over 5k after 90 days, we did a podcast interview, which you can go see on my podcast and she made 10 K in 90 days. So this is someone who was like completely starting from zero, right? 1500 followers, not really making any money in her business. She was just right. She was certified. She's gone to schooling, but she really was starting up her course business. And she went from nothing to something massive. And now she's still crushing it. So that brings me into step three. Now, part three is really like you understand the content side, right? Like same thing with Gabby, but now what do you do now that you have like all these eyeballs and all these people, the DM strategy. So this is like the real sauce, like slow this video down. If you've been watching it on two X, I, I watch things on two X. So slow it down, take some notes. Like this is like the real, real sauce here. Okay. So this is the reach, right? So I'm showing you right in a 90 day span, right? This was August to November of last year, 2.2 million accounts reached. That is a lot of people. That is a lot of people to be reaching. And these people need to be converting in a way to actually make you money because there's no point in having a ton of reach and no sales. Okay. So step one is the foundations of what the DM strategy is. So your DMs, and this is why I specifically teach Instagram, is the first step in turning viewers to paying clients. So you have to actually like train your audience to comment and engage with your posts. This does not replace human interaction. It supports it. Okay. So we want to automate the first step with many chat and what many chat does is it really starts the sales conversation for then you to go in there and actually like talk with people. Okay. So let's first look at what this looks like with a freebie funnel. So take this example, right? I'm showing you real time, the free course funnel that you're in right now. I run my business on the thing that I'm teaching you, right? So the free course funnel, I've ran a few of them before. They've gotten like nearly 20,000 plus opt-ins. That's a lot, a lot of people. We need to then convert those free leads into paying clients. So how do we do that? We need to have a value add after they opt in. So when we look at this content to cash funnel, right? It's content to relationships to sales. The relationships piece is actually what you're in right now in my funnel. The relationship is this big value add that really gives you value that you're going to take away from this and then be like, damn, I want to work with her or like, damn, I want to do this in my business. And what I will tell you after having over 20,000 people opt in for my freebies, the more valuable the product, the easier the sale. So the more valuable the freebie, the easier the sale. The reason why a lot of people don't make sales is because they have shitty freebies and they have shitty courses. And like, I don't say this to be rude. I say this to be real. And the real truth is if you give out shit, you're going to get shit back. If you give out bad resources, you're going to attract bad clients. If you put out bad content, you're going to attract bad clients. So you need to create stuff as if people are paying you tens of thousands of dollars, because I can't stress enough how important it is to have quality lead flow. Quality is so much more important than quantity. Like I said, you don't want to really just have a bunch of people looking for, I don't know, like for me in my offer, I don't want a bunch of people that are just looking for get rich quick or overnight success. 
I understand the market is so much smaller for people who actually want to build and scale a company. Most people don't want that. Most people want just like a freedom business. My business provides a lot of freedom, but that doesn't mean I just sit on my ass all day. I want people who want to build real companies. I mean, I look at my favorite, favorite content creators in the online business space. Gary V, Alex Hormozzi, Layla Hormozzi, Naval Ravikant. These are real creators that are building like real, like badass businesses. Steven, Diary of a CEO. These are like the people I'm attracted to. So I want to attract in people that want like real quality content that want like real quality stuff that's going to actually turn them into a quality client. Because let me be real with you. If you're scared away by the disclaimer section of this course, you're not going to succeed in my program. And I'm very genuine and blunt about that because I've worked with a lot of people. I've taken over 2000 sales calls. And if you can't take action and invest in a course, you are not going to take action and build the company of your dreams. So you need people that really want to be there and want to make a change. So make your freebies good. Okay. So I want to remind you this works for freebies and this works for low ticket digital products. I by no means am saying you need to run like this really massive, like group coaching program, like have 300 clients like we have under management. But what I'm showing you is you could do this with low ticket digital products too. Like this system works for digital, digital products and it works for online courses and it works for coaching programs and it works for retreats. Okay. So I did this with a $27 digital product as well. And I'm going to get to the, the, the course funnel in a second, but this is showing you LTO low ticket offer funnel. Okay. I made a low ticket offer to just show you guys that this stuff works, not just on high ticket courses, because some people don't have an interest in doing that. They just want to sell like lower ticket digital products. That's absolutely fine. Okay. So I created a $27 course called content to cash. I taught people my viral reels formula and how to set up the back end funnel to sell it. I use a free software called notion cost me $0. I use stand store. They do a 14 day free trial. And then I had organic marketing with Instagram reels, $0 and ad spend all organic. That made me $10,000. I just wanted to show people this also works for low ticket and the power of having a strong Instagram brand. Okay. So now step four, and I'm going to really like drive and land this plane in a second, but what to say in the DMS, the actual tangible DM strategy that made me over a million dollars. Okay. So step number one is you have to break the ice. So I want you to think of the DMs like almost like dating, right? You don't just go into a relationship, right? You don't just go into a first date and be like, hey, let's sleep together. Hey, I want to take you home tonight, right? 99% of people are doing that in the DMs and that's why they're not making sales, okay? You got to break the ice. You got to be a little slick. You got to be a little like, give a little oomph. Okay. So, Hey name, thanks for following me. What do you do on your corner of the internet? So if you're not reaching out to all of your new followers, I don't know what you're doing because you should be reaching out to every single one of them. Okay. Number two, discover their current situation. Okay. That's awesome. Julia, how long have you been running your coaching business for? Okay. You need to go deep. You need to get actual figures. I've been running it for a month. I've been running it for a year. I've been running it for three years. Those are three very different types of avatars. Okay. So you need to understand where your avatar is at, and you need to understand that if you're creating this kind of content, you got to be attracting the right kind of avatar. Okay. Step number three, discover their desired situation. Okay. I love that. Julia, you've been running your coaching business for a year. Where do you hope to scale it to in the next six to 12 months? If someone says, I want to make a thousand dollars in the next three months, they are not my ideal client. My ideal client is someone who wants to make six figures, multiple six figures using a scalable system that can bring them to 10 K a month, 20 K a month, 30 K a month, 50 K a month, because this system before hiring a team got me to 60 K a month from 60 K a month. It's the same system, but you need to start hiring and you need to start scaling. And that's a different conversation. 
The goal of my program, CCA, gets people up to 50K a month. And at that point, they're graduated and ready for my next offer, which is my mastermind, which we're not talking about today. But that's then how you build a scalable model, which we'll get to at the bottom, back end and Ascension offers, okay? So now step number four is bridge the gap. Makes total sense. What would you say is the biggest thing holding you back from getting to 20K a month, okay? So we have to then understand that they're talking to you because they're not yet where they want to be. Okay. So if you have like a health coaching offer, so let's say someone's goal in six to 12 months was to lose 10 pounds. That is a very achievable and attainable goal. And if you're a fitness weight loss coach, you can help people do that. So now you would say to them, well, what's holding you back from, you know, losing 10 pounds over the next six months. And they're going to say, I lack motivation, right? If it's healing your gut, right? It's holistic health coaching. They're going to say, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't get to the bottom of it. I'm always bloated. I'm always fatigued. Your job now is you have to understand you're not a creator anymore. You're a salesperson. You're a person with an, in an authority figure. Okay. So at this point, you have to really get deep into the pain point and say, this is a problem. And what is it costing you to not solve this problem? And the best people to work with are the people that don't yet even know they have a problem. And your job in the DMS is to show them that problem that they have. And then from there is when you make the pitch. So you cannot enter into step five until they have seen that they have a problem. Okay. So makes total sense, right? What would you say is the biggest thing holding you back getting from 20 K a month? Boom. Now, when they say, I don't know what's wrong with me, I'm always bloated. I don't know. I can't scale past 10 K a month. I don't know. My income is inconsistent. One month I make 20 K one month. I make three K help. This is when you make the pitch. Okay. The biggest mistake I see people make is when they make the pitch too early, it comes off too cold and you have not given enough value. So for example, you don't want to sound like you're just interrogating people. So if someone's here and they're still really cold, now you send them a YouTube video, you send them a podcast you have, you send them a free course like this, boom. Because the thing is, all sales is, and yeah, we're in relationships, but we're kind of transitioning to the sales part. All sales is, is a, is a exchange of value. So the thing is you should not be convincing anybody to buy. You should be showing them so much value that they have no choice, but to buy. Okay. This was the biggest, biggest shift I had to make in my business. Okay. So then step five, make the pitch low ticket offer link to buy. Gotcha. Well, I have this mini course, $27 teach you how to scale and turn your content to cash. Would you like to check it out? Mid ticket offer. Gotcha. Well, I've worked with X number of clients with the same exact problem. Would you be interested in hearing more how it works? You can sell to them in the chat. High ticket offer. Gotcha. Well, I've worked with over 300 clients with the same problem. Do you have some time tomorrow for a quick chat about it? Here's the thing. They would not have gotten to this point in the conversation if they were not interested in what you had to sell. They would have already ghosted you around here. If you get this far with someone, they are asking you to sell to them. Okay. I run a sales team because I have a, a, a pretty big to midsize, you know, growing to a large company. So I am now really taking this to the next level that requires like a bigger sales team. So in our case, we are booking calls from the DMS. It really depends where you're at. Like I said, I did this all by myself up until 60 K a month. Once I was at 60 K a month is when I started to hire and outsource a bit of the sales process, but we're not at that point in this training. This training is about how you can do this on your own to be fully transparent. I did every single part of this on my own. I took the sales calls. I was the coach inside the program. I built the course. I was the content creator. Like I did everything. You can do this all, but this is why I said like, you have to be willing to work. You can't just be doing this and just expect money to fall from the sky. Like, especially if you're selling high ticket programs, you're selling 3000, 5,000, $10,000 programs. You need to give people value. No one's just dishing out their money, but people are investing in solutions. So if you can show them you have the solution to their problem, boom, they're going to pay you. So 
like I said, it doesn't need to be a high ticket offer. So I want to always show you two sides to the coin. So for our high ticket offer, we're booking calls from the DMs for a low ticket offer. We are selling in the DMs and my client Bella made $50,000 in 90 days selling 47 and $97 digital products. So for example, she joined our program with a hundred K followers making less than five K a month, some months, right? The exact I, I exact problem of our ideal client is Bella. She's actually ascended now into my mastermind and I'm helping her scale from 50, uh, around like this mark, like six figures a year, multi six figures up to seven. Okay. Just in the digital product and course sales. So what Bella is doing here is she has a big audience. She actually joined with only about a hundred, 150 K followers. And now she is like, right? Like four X that because of the real strategy and because of the back end sales strategy. So she's not just growing her following, she's growing the money in the bank, which is what matters. The cash flow, right? Creator to cash flow. That this is my goal here. So after using this like 10 K a month, 15 K a month, 20 K a month, like this is her new normal. She had very like ebbs and flows in her income, which is not healthy for any business owner. That's not a business. You need to have sustainability. So we took her from like this kind of like little side hobby that she had into a real profitable online education business. And that's what we're building up and out for her. Okay. So now we're into part four and I am just super fired up by like how juicy this trading has been. I can't even believe I'm like 50 minutes in, to be honest with you. I feel like it's been five minutes because that's how I, that's how I get when I'm like super, super in my purpose. So Let's talk about the million dollar sales strategy. Okay. So step one, you got to clarify your sales funnel. How are you going to sell? This is the biggest problem I see with creators or coaches or course creators that are having inconsistent income and how they do this. Like they have inconsistent income. The reason they have inconsistent income is because they do not have a consistent way to make sales. So step number one is you need to solidify your sales funnel. Okay. Is it content DM sales call content DM sell in the DMS content DM send the link into an automated funnel. Cause it's a low ticket product. So keep in mind, negotiation is the least desirable of your sales skills. If you have an amazing product and you have an amazing result, you do not need to like beg people to buy right? You get people to buy from the value. Like this training is going to bring in hundreds, if not thousands of qualified leads for our program because it is so valuable. So I am not here to convince anybody. I did that for way too long in the beginning of my business because no one share with me, like Julia, you just have to make things that get people results. If we look at creators, right? I reference them a lot, Alex and Leila Hermosi. When I got on a sales call with their team to join their workshop for $5,000, they didn't even have to convince me nothing. I'm just like, boom. I almost was like, damn, I hope I can get this. I had to, when I bought it, it was three months already booked. I couldn't even go for three months. So what I'm trying to show you here is you need to give value. If you have nothing of value, go get a valuable skill first. So the people watching up until this point, you have something of value that you now need to translate into courses, free courses, live calls, like whatever it's going to be, you need to really create something of value. Okay. To make more money, you need to make more sales. Solving a sales problem is easy with this three-step framework. Okay. I've said this a lot. I'm going to say it again, make more money. You need more sales, make more sales, you need more offers, make more offers. You need to have more conversations. So what is your offer? Okay. This is what we're going to talk about here. High ticket, mid ticket, low ticket. You create what you want, but I'm going to give you a little piece of advice that my dad gave me. He said, if you're going to sell something, why not sell the highest price thing? And this is so true. It is so much easier to sell a $3,000 offer than it is a $27 offer. And the reason why I say it's easier is because your output of energy is going to be, or sorry, your input of energy is going to be the same for $27 as it is for three to $5,000. The only difference is you're going to get a higher output. Okay. So if your input is the same content relationship sales, content relationship sales applies to all three of these. Why not sell the higher price thing? This is why I love high ticket offers, especially if your, your 
goal is cash flow to start, you need to make your offer better. So if you're like, I can't sell a $2,000 offer, it's because you don't have value. If you have value, you have no problem selling things that are high ticket. I understand when you're first starting, you need to like build up that confidence. But my very first high ticket offer was $3,000 and I sold five of them in about two weeks. So I made $15,000. It is so much easier to sell a high ticket thing. Okay. High ticket, like I love it. I'm very gung ho about it. You can sell low ticket, but you're going to be in that stomping ground where someone like Bella, for example, the goal is to grow a really big audience and really get that momentum and that flow going. Okay. So what you thought before, right? You thought, right? Oh, I'm going to make all this content. Boom. It's going to make me a sale. No. What you understand now is it's about conversions. Okay. It's about conversions, converting these people. Okay. So I want to show you my client Cheyenne. Okay. So she made in this month where I'm going to show you 30 K in one month. Okay. So she messaged me two weeks. The first two weeks of the month, she had made $20,000 and then she had sales calls booked solid. The next two weeks, she made another 10 K maybe a little bit more than that. I have to pull up the screenshot because she stopped looking at it like this. And she started looking at it as a funnel. So what I want you to shift to right now is stop looking at this as linear up and down. It's a funnel. Okay. This is what Cheyenne did. Cheyenne has an awesome niche. I can't wait to hire her one day. She helps people scale a small farm business. She helps people become six figure farmers. This is an amazing, valuable niche. This is not just like crap. Honestly, this is an amazing niche. This is something of value. This is something people will pay for. Some of her programs cost up to $10,000. She sells high ticket programs. She made this shift from it being a linear process to it being a funnel. And she understands that. Okay. Brie, right? Same thing. She helps moms become a VA and make their first 5k. Her thing is mom to VA 5k. She made $50,000 in 30 days by implementing this funnel. It all comes back to the funnel, the content to cash funnel. So what do you need to do? Simple systems, four things you need to do every single day, generate leads, pitch your offers, make sales, serve your clients. What does this look like? Generate leads, create your content in less than two hours per week. You are a CEO, not a creator anymore. CEOs do CEO level stuff. Okay. Step one, find the trending audio on Instagram. Step two, create and edit your reels. Step three, write captions and distribute them. Okay. Number two, pitch your offers daily DM KPIs. How many DMS are you sending a day? I bet you're not sending 50 to hundred because if you were spending, sending 50 to hundred, you would have a 10 to 20 K a month business. You can't be afraid to do the work. Okay. Number three, make sales. If you're booking two to three sales calls a day, That's three times five is 15. That's 15 sales calls a week. Do you believe you could close three to five of them with you being the face of the brand? Absolutely. And if you have a fear of sales sales calls, I want to understand why I love sales calls. I love talking to people face to face. You get a dedicated time slot to go really deep with someone and to really help them. Okay. The DMS you're talking to people for like a week. It's a disaster. You want to try to move people from the DMS. If you're selling high ticket DMS to a call, because this is proven and this works. You can't be afraid to talk to people. This is business. This is a sustainable business model. This is not just like a little Instagram thing. I'm talking about seven, eight figure company you're building, right? I built a seven figure company just on Instagram. I'm going into eight figures with Instagram. I know plenty of people doing a million dollars a month just with Instagram. This is the model they follow. And I have it a little bit lower down, but do you want to be right? Or do you want to be rich? When you're looking at what to do in your business, you have to look at what's already working for people. I have hundreds more of these kind of testimonials. And what these people said was, I just want to learn the way and I want to implement it in a way that works for me. Boom. Okay. So. Lastly, serve clients. If your, if your offer sucks, you don't help people get results. That's a big problem. Okay. I have to make that a whole other free course on how to make amazing offers. So let's talk about scaling the system. Okay. $1 million scaling strategy. 
A million dollars a year is just $83,000 a month. When I talked to my friend who had a $50 million company and I was making six figures a year, this opened my eyes. It's just $83,000 a month. Let's break that down. If your program's $4,800 to earn 83K a month, you have to sign 18 new clients per month. Not all clients pay in full, so let's say 60% of them do. 60% of 86,000 is 58,000. Then you have about 40% of that income coming in over the next three months, about 24K. You have about 8K per month. Now you just have to sign 15 new clients this month to hit an 83K month and so on and so forth. This math is how you build a million dollar company. If you do not understand how to do math like this, you are welcome because this is the biggest thing holding you back. Whether you're trying to make 10K a month, 20K a month, 50K a month, what I'm trying to show you here, you need to understand the mathematical breakdown of how to achieve your goal because then you stop making emotional decisions and you start making data-driven decisions. And the way we make data-driven decisions is by understanding the data. It is as simple as that. So you need to get clear. What is my price point? What do I, what is my goal? Is it 10 K? Is it 20 K? Is it 50 K? What is your goal? And then how do you achieve that goal? The funnel. So now that you have the funnel, you have the goal. You just got to do the work. There's only two ways to scale, raise your price or raise your number of customers. The math is a simple breakdown, but what's hard is the model that can actually fulfill this. If you're currently one-on-one coaching, have you considered turning your offer into a high ticket online course? If you're currently doing a group coaching experience, have you considered turning it into an evergreen high ticket done with you course, which is what I have. And this is literally like, I think I'm about to go make like two or three more of these trainings because we need, we need this stuff out there in the world. And lastly, you have to create an irresistible offer. I scaled my business from a like do it yourself like watch the videos one call a week to a true coaching program done with you online course. Okay. So the mathematical breakdown of 135 K a month, you could be right, or you could be rich. Okay. I said it before. I'm going to say it again. This is the actual mathematical breakdown of my, I believe this was October of 2023. Um, and also This month, I moved back from Bali. I went on a two-month cruise and I moved to Miami. So I literally was in three different places and this was a scalable model. Actually, I stood more in the way when I was helping the team. I was on a cruise with no Wi-Fi. So I could barely talk to them. Like it was very spotty. I was just doing my needle movers, which is creating and putting out content because I'm a creator CEO. It was 135K a month, okay? CCA brought in 79 K in new cash and the remainder of the month's cash flow looked like this. So this was just new cash. And then there was recurring cash. We had a low ticket offer at the time. We had a do it yourself digital product at the time. Yeah, it was October. Boom. Okay. This is the business. No interest, interest, client retention. No interest is a viewer. Interest is a follower, client, somebody that pays you retention. They ascend to the higher ticket offer. They keep coming back for more. An irresistible offer is what I'm going to leave you with and probably going to be my next free course. You need to create something that is amazing. Amazing. Okay. The remainder of the month's cash flow looked like this. Okay. We had a low ticket digital product. We had a low ticket community at the time. But like I said, it's not adding much of the cash to the business. It's that one signature offer. So here's how this works, right? You take someone to just really sum this all up from no interest to interest to a client to retention. No interest is a viewer, someone who's just like watching your stuff on social media. Interest, someone who's in your DMs, they're following you, they commented the keyword to then a client, right? A really, really amazing client. And that client is someone who's going to be someone that pays you, right? So currently in my funnel, you're going from interest to potentially a new client. And then lastly is retention, how to keep them as a client, how to ascend them to the next level, how to get them an amazing result. So they refer you. Okay. So 
You need to create an irresistible offer. This is what I'm going to leave you with. A minimum viable offer is the very first version of that. After watching this training, you are probably now into creating an irresistible offer. This is like the number one thing that we teach in the program, because the thing is you can implement this funnel, but if you have a shitty offer, it's not going to sell. You need to create something that's good. If you overcompensate for the offer and the offer is not that good, you overcompensate with the marketing, you're going to have unhappy clients. So when you can create an amazing offer, which like, for example, this is the free stuff that I'm giving you, right? Over an hour training, this is the free stuff. Imagine what the paid stuff is actually like. Okay. An MVO contains these three factors. It has enough value that people are willing to use it or buy it. It demonstrates enough future benefit to retain early adopters, and it provides a feedback loop to guide your future development. So I want to just make it like abundantly clear. This is a free course. The actual paid course that I sell has over 30 videos like this. Okay. This is the only reason why the course has been able to sell over a million dollars is because the offer is so good and it gets results. So it's very easy to market it and to sell it. Okay. So the four things I want you to look for, your customers have to be an absolute pain, not a want, but a need Two, do they have purchasing power? Do the people you're looking to sell to actually have money? Three, are they easy to target? Can you find them on Instagram per se? Because this is what this is teaching you. And four, is it a growing industry? Okay. So Currently, like I said, my program takes me about three hours a week to fulfill. There's three parts. It's do it yourself, the typical online course stuff, like 30 videos plus worksheets, everything like this Two, done with you, which is a group coaching program. Um, meaning we have daily group coaching calls like Monday to Friday. And number three is done for you. So there's templates, reels, calendars. Like, why do you think the clients are rinse and repeat going viral? Because there's systematic approaches to go viral and to actually sign clients. That's the only reason why we have consistent testimonials, because we have a consistent system and even better yet, I've been able to outsource it. I've hired coaches. I've hired a sales team. Like this is what makes a really great business is that it's not just like flying by the seat of my pants. This is a real consistent system that gets real consistent results. Okay. So in conclusion, if this free course is better than most paid courses you've been in, like people have told me, by the way, I joined a mastermind 2016 for 10 K that had half the information your course has. I think you could charge more. I don't charge 10 K for my course. Okay. I've helped over a thousand content creators turn their Instagram account into a cash flowing business in 90 days or less. Okay. The same strategy that made me 10 K a month, made me a hundred K a month, and then made me 200 K a month. This is not a beginner's course. This is not just how to make the most money in the least amount of time. This is for people who understand they already have a valuable skill. They're a content creator and they want to turn a maybe like small coaching business into a real company. They want to sell daily courses. They want to sell high ticket, low ticket. They want to build a brand. They want to build a sustainable company with, like I said, a few tweaks along the way, because at 10 K a month, 60 K a month, I was doing it myself by hundred K a month. I had hired some people and that's something that we can help you out with too. Okay. So I run an Academy with over 290 students that helps them scale their course and their coaching businesses effectively with this one simple funnel. Like I said, I am selling you a scalable system. I am selling you something that you can implement into your business and we find a way to make it work for you. It is a customized approach. We do not accept everyone into this program. To be honest, after this course, I could put up a link for $5,000 and I know plenty of people would pay for it. That is not my goal. My goal is to get amazing results every time, which is why we have a really tight application and enrollment process. If we do not think you will succeed, we will not sell to you. We are not just trying to make as many sales as possible. We are trying to change the world. We are trying to create content millionaires. We are trying to create people that want to create companies with scalable systems. If this is you, there's going to be a link here to apply. You could probably see it on the button on this video as well. Scroll to this bottom of this page, apply now. We're only accepting the students, like I said, that we know will succeed and people who want to put in work to get amazing results. Let's just scroll all the way back up to the top. This exact system that I taught you in this free course is what I also teach inside of my academy. The only difference is the academy gives you a customized approach, a real customized approach of how this can work for your creator business.
This is what made me 200K in April. Thank you for watching.